Ever wonder how we interact with the world around us? Well, let's start with sensory receptors. They're the unsung heroes behind our five senses, sight, sound, touch, smell, and taste. Sensory receptors are special cells in our sensory organs, like our eyes, ears, skin, nose, and tongue. When these receptors catch a stimulus, like light, sound, or touch, they convert it into an electrical signal. How does this affect our behavior? Well, if you've ever touched a hot surface, you know the answer. A signal is sent from the sensory receptor to the spine via a sensory neuron. It is then transmitted to an interneuron, where the information is processed. The interneuron then sends a signal to a motor neuron, which tells the muscle cells to pull your hand back. This is what's known as a reflex. In addition to the immediate reflex, the information also gets sent up to the brain to make a memory. This is why, once you burn your hand once, you remember to be careful the next time. What if sensory receptors get damaged? It can change how we perceive our environment. For example, some diseases lead to decreased sensation in your feet. For people with this kind of sensory loss, it could result in them not being aware when they step on something sharp, which may result in an infection. In our example of touching something hot, if your sensory receptors are impaired, you might leave your hand on the hot stove long enough to damage the skin. Sensory receptors, our tiny detectors, play a vital role in helping us interact with our world. Even though we can't see them, they shape our experiences every day.